Welcome back guys. Today I'm gonna work on a new sensor that is BME250. Now to have a greater impact and a greater look over this sensor let's have a watch over the website that is called controlleverything.com and here we have to search for this particular sensor that you can see on my screen. Now let's see what we got for this sensor and let's say that we have BMA250 which is a accelerator it's a digital tri axle plus minus 2G to plus minus 16G acceleration sensor and as you can say with intelligent on-chip motion triggered interrupt controller so as you can see uh, more features are lined up on this website as you can see also you can purchase the sensor from this very site now I'm gonna interface the sensor BMA250 with the Raspberry Pi and I require a Python code. So for that Python code, let's have a look over the resource tab and here comes the Python code we are looking forward to explore. So we can download the code as a zip file from this very site. From here, as you know, now we can have the downloaded code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. Now what we want to do is to make some connections among the sensor along with the other hardware and let's see how it works the hardware connections for the sensor we are going to make is this that's BMA250 digital triaxle accelerometer now here is our Raspberry Pi as you can see on my screen and these are the GPI pins of the Raspberry Pi now what we need is an I2C shield which you can see and it's available on the website control everything dot com now what why do we require this i2c shield is to make connections with other i2c devices and rather make them easy so gently place the i2c shield over the gpi pins of the raspberry pi and this here a connecting cable is used to make a connection among the sensor and the i2c shield now gently place it with the sensor and while making this uh, we have to make a recommendation that it says that the crown terminal of the sensor should be connected to the crown wire of the cable and similarly for the i2c shield also so we are done with this connection now what we require is to power up our raspberry pi and here comes a micro usb cable just slightly insert it over the power jack now finally we need to make an internet connection for that we have two ways first of all an ethernet connect cable is required which you are able to see on my screen and gently push over the ethernet jack next if we don't have the first we can go for the wireless nano adapter for the Wi-Fi connection so that we can have the internet connection for that so as we are done with these connections what we require to look have our code for what we want to interface the sensor now I just want to have a look over the Python code so that we can interface the code along with the sensor and the hardware we have just been connecting Let's have a look over the code. For that, we have to log in to github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is the official repository for controleverything.com and that's control everything community. Now click over and here search for the sensor BMA250. And here we go. And it's a digital tri Excel acceleration sensor. Now this is the Python code we would like to explore, but before that, let's have a look over the instructions we need to follow. So we have to download and install the SMS library on the Raspberry Pi and this is the link which will help us to guide and step by steps installation for this library. Let's have a look over this link and we can have a look over so that we can clarify our minds and everything in the place. Right now you can see the installation gu guidelines everything is there. So do it carefully. Now at the code instructions part we have this is the command to uh, run the code, the Python code. Now let's have a look at the Python code. We are looking forward to explore. It's a .py extension file. Now, first of all, in the code, as you can see, uh, we have imported SMBus library along with the time library. Now, this is the address of the sensor that is 0x18. Now, for the writing section part, we have selected range register register select selection register that is 0x0f and we have sent the command for set range equal to plus minus 2g that comprises for 0x03. The writing command is here as you can see. Now second part we have selected bandwidth register that is 0x10 and the send in command is bandwidth that we have sent is 7.81 hertz which goes for 0x08. Now this is the write data command. 
Now this is the time dot sleep for 0 0.5 second which says that uh, the writing commands will have some time so that the sensor can clarify for the commands. After that we have to read some data and we are reading the data from the register 0 at 0 2 for 6 bytes as you can see x, y and z axis acceleration data and here comes the conversion part of the data into 10 bits which we sort from the data sheet of BMA250. So at the very end of our code we have the output to be displayed on the screen which is in the form of acceleration data uh, for x, y and z axis. So it's a raw data as you can see it's the formatted in percentage D. It's an integer part as you can see. So why do we require this code? And how do we work out this code along with the sensor? To find the answer let's proceed. Now to show you the working for this code let's proceed. So first of all copy this entire python code and open up the terminal for the raspberry pi we have just connected through internet and we have create a new file as you can see dot py extension and here paste the entire code and save the file. Now this is the command to run as you can see. Now the data is being displayed as you can see there is a very minute change in the values for acceleration in x, y and z axis. It's because it's stable. Now when I try to rotate it the values being keep on changing for the acceleration for x, y and z axis. As you can notice this is how the python code works for the sensor BMA250. Now how this sensor benefit and what are the applications, the features for this acceleration sensor? Let's look. The BMA250 is a tri axial low G acceleration sensor with digital output for consumer market applications. It allows measurement of acceleration in three perpendicular axes. An evaluation circuitry ASIC converts the output of a micro mechanical acceleration sensing structure MEMS that works according to differential capacitance per principle. Now the BMA250 senses tilt, motion and shock vibration. So the typical examples are display profile switching, menu scrolling tap, double tap sensing, gaming pedometer, free fall detection, e-compass tilt compensation and a lot more. Now, this sensor is available on the website controleverything.com and the relevant code is available on the resource tab and you can download it from there. Now you can also have the code from github repository and the repository is control everything community. Now if you have any doubt in the end any queries you can contact on the controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page of this website. Now for relevant blogs and articles which are according to this sensor you can got your comments on instructables.com and if you want to subscribe more video tutorials like this you can go to your YouTube channel. So in the very end I hope you enjoyed this video and yourself have a good one and thanks a lot for the watching.